I love one audio, one audio loves me, meow miss, meow miss, let's do sound review. So as you know from my previous video with regards to Monitor 60 by One Audio, I was so impressed with the sound quality, it was really really good. Um, but I actually kind of hope that there will be a headset that is actually designed for DJ and is wireless and that's exactly what we have here which is the model A70 and I think A30 is another one from One Audio that is designed to be more casual kind of use and etc. Uh, there are so many details that I need to cover but let's get into the unboxing and cover these uh, details while do the sound checking with my bruv here so here it goes so the first model is fusion a70 uh, this is the DJ uh, wireless headphone so that's how it looks on the sideways and top and bottom so the uh, main details that I want to highlight is that the talk time is 50 hours um, Bluetooth music play time of 72 hours and the battery capacity of 650 milliamp um, and the mic sensitivity and impedance and such level and so on. So let's get to the inside of it. So we got a lovely pouch here um, that is quite chunky, similar to the Monitor 60, but if you were to open it up, we got the model here, very similar to uh, Monitor 60 indeed. Um, but we've got the Bluetooth uh, connection ends here, but as an optional for um, the mic plug as well. On the inside again, we got the actual, uh, you know, the plug itself. So if you want to plug into your device, that's how you do it. So there are two ways. And uh, the quick instruction of one audio is that we got this pages here. So you can actually pause and have a look to all of these functions here. Okay. So the actual headphone itself, we got the One Audio logo on it and the red stitches with the One Audio on the top. And um, I presume there's the left and right here. So that's pretty much it, people. Really nice quality and light, which is very important and also soft cushioning. So we've got the A30 model here, a noise cancelling function as well. That's really impressive but because the A70 model is for DJ, uh, but this is noise cancelling function that is added to it. Uh, the main thing I want to highlight is the battery capacity of 500 milliamp per hour, charging time of two and a half hours, uh, using time up to 45 hours. Yes, we got another pouch here. I like the way how it simplified the package and um, it's just, you don't need to think too much about what's going on, but this is actually for the plane, you know, your two earphone jacks, and also the USB plug uh, to charge it. And that's really good, actually. That's the USB-C I can see here. And um, before we get actually get into the thing, is the, the booklet that actually shows how to use the headphone itself. So please do pause and have a look on that. We open it up, we got the A30 model, okay? So I do kind of sense that it's actually slightly um, slimmer feel to the A70 model, but if we were to put it next to each other, um, yeah, so the thing that stands out is the actual more details on the, uh, you know, the chrome finish here and so on and we got the one audio on it and it's actually chunkier because of the DJ use and um, that's pretty much the difference that I can see and we got the left and right but nonetheless we got the one audio logo on the actual headset on the A30 model but on the A70 we got it here and we got a text one audio on uh, the A30 model I guess that's the main distinguishing and um, I think there's slightly more extra cushioning to the A70 model, while this, this one is a bit more, um, you know, slimmed down version. So it does kind of make sense, doesn't it, for each function of what it's actually supposed to do. So my dear bruv here is actually wearing the 
A70 headphone and we also have the A30 we're going to test after this and along with it we also have the Sony XM4 headphones to give you a standard of how good sound quality of these two headphones are but the music that we're going to listen to is the uh, track called the Ocean of Thought by Artificial Dot Music so let's get into testing So bro, what do you think about the sound quality of both um, One Audio A70 and 30? It was amazing, wasn't it? <laughs> High five. Oh, you haven't got a hand. Anyhow, um, my final thoughts on these two headphones by One Audio is that um, I don't know what it is about it. I think One Audio is trying to send a message saying that, listen, headphones doesn't need to be expensive to for you to experience a really good sound quality what i mean by that is since my experience with monitor 60 um, i realized one audio headphone has this powerful sound that you're really going to enjoy uh, that it almost gives you this sense of this heart pounding kind of experience if you see what i mean and especially i'm sure if you actually hardwire to your um, your music device like your PC or uh, your mobile phone is even gonna be better sound quality as well. So honestly, comparing with the Sony XM4 headphones, there's a slight difference of the that one or two percent of smoothness of the sound, but I mean, you would never ever imagine that such powerful headphones are priced for A70 to be 30 pounds, which is about tenth, more than a tenth of the price of Sony XM4. And uh, this is actually seven times cheaper, the A30 is to the Sony XM4 model. I know a lot of um, Sony XM4 fans are going to say, listen, it has all this high tech, uh, you can actually customize music and so on. But for me, um, even though I like to change the settings on and off, in the end, I end up sticking with one sound settings and 
I hardly make any customization to that at all and you just need to do the ear scan in the beginning and that's it but I think one audio can is actually telling you that listen this is how a music should sound like and clearly they are producing a really good sound headphones the only thing is obviously is a, the quality of the um, the feel of the product I mean the stitches and the actual uh, synthetic leather is fine and the cushioning is fine as well you've got plenty of cushion on both both units um, I guess the plastic could be slightly upgraded but then again they're happy to market with such cheap price so um, their, their message could work this could really sort of challenge the headphone industry and I think a lot of uh, young students or even experts will be very happy to use these headphones so well done One Audio I'm, I really really enjoyed it and I'm still amazed how cheap a headphone could be yet still sound so brilliant uh, like a powerful sound and um, it's like every time when I look at One Audio the brand that's the first word that seems to pop up in the head powerful sound so well done, well done, <laughs> one audio. So I hope this review uh, gave you a bit of a better insight than any other reviews because my bruv actually helped me out to give you, share you that actual sound. But if you have any queries, please do comment below and I'll try to come back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.